If you have Meniere's disease, like our friend Stacy here used to have, I've got great news for you. So we finally figured out the root cause of Meniere's. And believe it or not, it really isn't from the ear. The problem is, is the messages between the ear before they get to the brain, they're getting altered. So there's, that's why you've probably been to ENTs and, and neurologists and all these specialists and they tell you there's nothing wrong with the ear, but you're getting these inner ear symptoms. So what happens is there's a nerve, it's called the vestibular cochlear nerve. It has two branches. Vestibular is the balance side and cochlear is the hearing side. Well, those gather the information from the ear. They come together into one nerve and they go down, exit your head and go into the top of the neck at the level of the brain stem. Now, if one of the upper bones in the neck is a little bit out of position, kind of like stepping on a garden hose, you can alter the message that comes out the other side. So it interferes with the message going to the brain, giving the brain the sense that your balance isn't right. Uh, there could be ringing in the ears. There could be a, a, a drop in your hearing ability, creating all the symptoms known as Meniere's disease possibly even drop attacks, which are horrible, I know. So if you have Meniere's disease, if you've been diagnosed or you have that triad of symptoms and you live anywhere in the Charlotte area, please call our office. We'll be happy to bring you in and check you to see what is really causing your Meniere's if it's a problem in the upper neck. If not, leave a message below where tell me where you're at and we'll try to find an upper cervical doctor near you.